My name's Naomi Bennett and I'm the CEO and founder of Lesflix and we're here today to help connect filmmakers with what Lesflix can offer for their career in film and TV. Lesflix is a social enterprise. We are focused in amplifying lesbian and bisexual stories and we do that through a number of different products. We have a streaming platform we have a film festival and an editorial site and we really work to help educate um, filmmakers to make good distribution decisions and really try and help the audience find the films. We believe it is possible for filmmakers and audiences to both benefit equally and fairly from film. Uh, Lesfix is a startup. We started in March 2019. I used to go to film festivals and review as press, and I noticed lots of lesbian films were showing at film festivals, and then I couldn't find them anymore, and they vanished. And then I spoke to filmmakers, and they were saying they struggled to find an audience, and they didn't always get distribution. And I realized there was a real problem, and I felt like it was something that I could understand, and I guess I innocently thought it was just marketing, I now know it's much more than that. But really what it is is that core thing of trying to connect audiences with films and really kind of bring the two together. So um, yeah, it's been a couple of years now and we've grown really based on the need of both of those people, the audiences and the filmmakers. Well, we started off as an editorial site. Uh, we were offered films from filmmakers very quickly. We now have the largest independent sapphic streaming platform in the world, over 230 titles. Our clients are happy that we pay them regularly. Um, we have a growing audience. Our film festival is growing year on year. Um, we're now starting to work to help educate and empower filmmakers, connect them and help them to understand distribution and all the kind of challenges around what to do once they've got their film and to make sure they make empowered decisions that are right for them and their film. Okay, so particularly for me, film is important because you can't be what you can't see. And it's important to have authenticity on the screen and people like you. And what we realized was that there's all these independent filmmakers and they're making really important, relevant stories, but they weren't getting to the audience. So many queer women, so many lesbian or bisexual women tell you they realised they were gay when they saw a woman on screen. It is so important that we see who we are on screen to inspire us, to educate us, to realise who we could be and who we are. And that is why film is so important. And independent filmmakers are able to make stories based on authenticity and on truth without the kind of hoops and the requirements put on place by distribution networks and by TV channels that really are almost deciding what those narratives are and what those stories are. So it's really important for both big TV mainstream, but also independent, authentic voices as well. And I think it's just really about making sure, as an audience, you have the choice of both. Thank you. This Cine Circle um, event around the job fairs has been fantastic. We've met so many great people. Um, I've really been able to pass on some inspirational points to women who've kind of said, I have no money, I have no experience. And I think it is really about, it for me, everything comes from empowerment. If you can inspire people and empower people, that's where people get to be creative and bring their best. So we've had some really good conversations. We've really kind of been able to share with people what we've done, our journey, and hopefully inspire one or two women to, to join our journey or carry on on their own one. Um, so it's been a really good day and we've met a really great mix of people as well. It's been really busy all day. Um, I'm kind of glad it's coming towards the end, um, but it's been definitely fantastic and I would highly recommend an event like this in the future. Cool. Um, I think it's important for me to say to anyone, um, anyone can be a filmmaker, it doesn't matter how much budget you've got, you've got a film in your hand and it's actually about an authentic story. If you've got a story to tell, find people who share that vision and make it happen. It doesn't have to be big budget but it has to be um, honest and authentic um, and just have fun with it. I think filmmaking at its heart is creative. And the more fun you have, the more that creative will seep out of you. Um, and just really don't be, don't be disheartened by the journey. Everything you go through 
it actually adds to who you are and it takes you on that journey and one day you'll turn around and be like that's why I did that and all these things have led me to where I am today. No, I'm not a filmmaker myself. I studied media studies um, at college and funnily enough, I was told that filmmaking is um, a, not a career you can work in because it's a gig economy and you won't earn enough. And I listened to that and I stepped away from the film industry for over 30 years, uh, sorry, over 20 years. Um, and I would say actually that was a tough thing because if I hadn't listened to that, maybe I would have been a filmmaker. And I think that's why it's important. However, what I would say is, over the last 20 years, I have learned a wealth of skills that I have now added to my film experience, and that has actually led me to where I am today. So it doesn't matter how our journeys start out, it is about learning as much as we can as we go. I don't think I intentionally came back to film, I just happened across it, but it's about taking any opportunity that's put in front of you. It's always better to say yes and try something than to wonder what would have happened if you didn't. So I studied film, I left film because I didn't think it was a career, and somehow I've ended up back here. And the journey between then has been all over the place, but I wouldn't change it for anything because it means I actually have a whole wealth of skills that I can now share with more people. And it's been an interesting journey. Thank you. This magic video box is actually really cool. Um, I think it's a really clever tool. Um, it definitely acknowledges that some people have different challenges. I think it's very clever that it's automated in the sense that it's functional, simple, anyone can use it. Um, I like the fact that you can double it up as a teleprompter. It's obviously really looking at what the challenges are. For independent filmmakers, when you have limited budget, limited people, I think as well, it's things like that. And it's really looking at what the challenges are when you're interviewing people. So I think it's a really ingenious product. I think again, it shows that when you create something from when you're a creator yourself, you're really the best person to understand what those challenges are. And then you've come up with something that actually really is fit for purpose, but really simple. Um, and I think it's a really clever device that would actually make it a lot easier for a lot of filmmakers to do really meaningful interviews um, that will be much higher quality because you've got that really straight on camera that you just naturally lose because the, even the best person in the world can't help but look to where the person is, not where the camera is because our brain goes to where the movement is and the movement is always the person, not the camera. So a very clever piece of kit that I would really recommend anyone think about if they're doing lots of interviews. Thank you.